Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but we are here in Blumenard at KK Penner. Yes, and they do not have anything to do with Penner International. They are a tire shop. So we're going to get this new tire just like this, like the X Lime Energy D tire. That's what we currently have on, and we're going to get the same thing because they've done really good for us. And they say they are still the lowest rolling resistant tire out there. So we got the okay to videotape inside of here. So we're going to get these tires changed here and uh, hopefully we'll show you guys a little bit. Alrighty guys, this is what it looks like when we have no tires on the truck guys. They're already taking all the tires off of the truck here. They're just letting the air out and they're going to be changing them over there. Going to get some brand new tires put on, hey? Look at this guys, this is what they do. Put them out, give them a good smack with the hammer. The old fashioned way, right? <laughs> That's pretty quick though too, right? Yep, it looks like it. He's working out really good, looks like. He must have done this once or twice before. <laughs> yeah, looks like it, yeah. Alrighty, guys, they got all these new tires. Look at them. They got them all stacked up over here. Brand spanking new tires, eh? I think that's going to drive really nicely. All of these tires, eh? They said they had like a hundred and somewhat in stock. <laughs> they must sell really good, but... Yeah, they look nice, nice rubber. That's gonna feel a lot safer here out here on the road, I think. Well, guys, look at this. We are getting them tires put on now. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> He's pretty fast in putting these tires on, I tell you that much. Oh yeah, look at that. We got them all already laid out there on the rims and just working hard at it. Before you know it, we'll have new tires on. Already, ladies and gentlemen, we are now here at the shop here at the uh, my mechanic and we're gonna get some stuff fixed here at the at the shop here but uh, before we do that i decided to give you guys a little bit of an insight or behind the scene or whatever on what it actually cost me to get these new tires put on here now some of you guys might think it's cheap to put new tires on right well think again let's take a look at the bill I'm hoping you won't be able to see that. $5,356.09. That's what I just spent in new tires. Yes, tell me if it's cheap to buy a truck or own a truck. And we're not done yet. We got to get some stuff fixed here at the shop yet. So we'll go inside here and uh, drop the truck off here. And we'll talk to the mechanic in here and we'll get some stuff done. And now we'll be right back. <laughs> we are sneaking up on the old lady. Our young lady. Yeah, old lady. Old lady? Yeah. Old lady sounds better? Yeah. All right. What are we cooking? Mashed potatoes. What we got here? I don't know. I don't know? I don't know English. I don't know. I don't know. That's a gravy. <laughs> That's a gravy? all right yeah you're having fun over there aren't you listening to some music yeah anyways we're gonna go show you guys outside a little bit on some of the stuff we got done yeah so let's go outside put my shoe on yeah here we go starting to get a little dark out here but uh, it's not too bad we just managed to finish all our stuff now just wanted to show you my new rubber. Oh yeah, look at that. We got some new tread, some really nice deep tread in there. All eight of these rear tires have been replaced now. And I'm hoping I can show you this, but uh, I got my slack adjusters replaced. So they are right there. The black stuff that you see right down there, those are called 
slack adjusters and I got all four of them replaced so hopefully you can see the other side as well yeah you see that right there all four of them have been uh, have been replaced now so uh, and then this exhaust up here this clamp right here was loose right here that has been replaced now too or tightened up so that's all tightened up so but we do need to go back on friday i was going to check on this and they said one of these uh, torque rod bars is loose this one is nice though so it must be the the front one over there so we're going to go check that out see if that one is actually loose because the uh, mechanic had written that up as a uh, dot inspection there because i need that to be done here and we're going to finish that off here on friday hopefully i'm just going to see if i can walk to the back over here and check that uh, torque rod i'm going to check that and see if that's if that's actually loose or not yeah i don't really think it is i don't know what he felt but uh, i don't think they are actually loose I really don't, but and they said they uh, need to adjust the fifth wheel a little bit. I need to do that yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's got some playroom in it yet, so uh, should be able to adjust it. Uh, I didn't get the time to wash the truck this time, but uh, that's all right too. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff done. That's for sure. But uh, I'm. I mean, it's messy out here anyways, it's uh, really melting out here today, but anyways, I'll go inside and maybe have dinner here pretty soon, so then we'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty guys and gals, look at this, we are ready for supper. We got some corn, some mashed potato, and we got some pork fried whatever they call it we don't know the english name for it and we got some pie we got the whole gang over here don't we yeah yeah you like this stuff oh yeah yeah what about you huh oh yeah you're not eating this so anyways we got the whole gang over here right <laughs> so let's get to eating behind me that day is gonna come 